Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're just going to be doing a little chit chat here in my living room. I'm going to be talking to you about the flu season and things that I do to help prevent the flu and some things that I do when I have the flu or a cold. So let's just jump right on into the video. Running on the right track. Okay guys, whether we like it or not, the flu season is here. Um, it comes around the same time every year and so many people get the flu. But there are ways that you can get around the flu. There are some things that you can do to prevent the flu. And if you do get the flu, there are a few things that you can do to help you get better. So in today's video, we're just going to be talking about the many ways of prevention and what you can do while you have the flu. Now I have a little paper here and I just wrote down some of the things that I do when I have the flu or what I'm doing to prevent the flu. So I'm just going to go over those with you and um, just give you a little bit of information of how I do it. So the number one thing that I have on my list is wash your hands. Washing your hands will help prevent you getting the flu or giving the flu to someone else. Now when you wash your hands what you're going to do is you're going to use warm water and you're going to get your hands wet and you're going to get a pump of antibacterial hand soap onto your hands. You're going to lather your hands up really well and you're just going to get into the nooks and crannies of all of your um, areas of your hand, um, especially the nails. The underneath, you know, underneath your nails harbor a lot of bacteria. So you're going to want to um, scrub your nails, and get in between your fingers, and just pretty much all over your hands, and then rinse them off in warm water. The next thing is coughing or sneezing and I tell my daughter this all the time especially when she gets a cold is to sneeze into your elbow um, or cough into your elbow. This will help prevent your bacteria that comes from your sneeze or your cough like your saliva, the bacteria in your saliva from getting on to someone or something such as um, clothing or whatever so just like if you have to sneeze just hold your your um, elbow up to your face and sneeze or cough into your elbow or carry around a tissue and just sneeze or cough into the tissue and then just throw it away when you're done and this will help prevent the spread of the flu bacteria the next thing is to avoid touching your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. Because if you sneeze into your hands and you touch your eyes or your mouth or your nose, you're going to ingest all of that bacteria back into your body and you're just not going to get better. You're going to repeat that cycle all over again. And so make sure to wash your hands. Don't touch your eyes, your face. You, Pretty much your face. Don't touch your eyes, your nose, or your mouth to prevent that bacteria from getting back into your system. The next thing I'm going to talk about is cleaning and disinfecting your home, your objects, and your vehicle. Now, when you're cleaning your home, you're going to want to go in and you're going to clean all of your surfaces, um, countertops, everything that you touch. You're going to clean it. You can clean it with just a regular multi-surface spray just to wipe it down. And then you're going to take that um, cleaning cloth or whatever you used, you're either going to throw it away or put it into your washing machine. And then you're going to get a clean cleaning cloth or whatever that you use and you're going to go back in with a disinfectant. Now what the disinfectant is going to do is kill all of that bacteria that is 
spread around your house from um, you're, co you're coughing and covering up with your hands and you're touching the remote, you're touching a light switch or um, your cabinet doors or anything like that. So you're just going to, to um, disinfect all of your areas in your home. Um, you can use um, a Lysol spray. You can spray that on there. You can use a Lysol wipes. You can use a disinfectant spray that you can just leave on and let set and wipe off. Um, however it you would like to do that, that's up to you just as long as you disinfect your home. Make sure to disinfect your remote controls or um, anything that you would normally touch. Remote controls, light switches, doorknobs, um, buttons on appliances, your refrigerator handles, freezer handles, your stove knobs and handles, anything that you would normally touch, go ahead and just wipe those down with a disinfectant. And don't forget your car. Um, because most of us, we do travel, we get in our car, we go to work, or we have to go to the store. So make sure you disinfect your vehicle, your gear shift, your steering wheel, anything that you would touch in your car, just make sure to wipe that down with a disinfectant. And another thing is to go to the doctor. Go to the doctor, you can get a flu shot, you can get um, antiviral medication, or you can go to your local CVS or Walgreens and you can get an over-the-counter antibacterial like Tamiflu or something like that that you can take to help get yourself better from all of the flu symptoms. So definitely go to the doctor and um, see what they have to say. Another thing is if you are interested or if you support it, I know a lot of people don't, but get the flu shot. Um, this will help prevent you from getting the flu, and if you do get the flu, it will help prevent other people from getting the flu, um, especially if they have a compromised system. So um, if you're interested in that, you can definitely go in and see your doctor and schedule an appointment for your flu shot. Um, you can do this also with your children as well or any of your family members. And keep in mind that you do have the flu 24 hours after your fever subsides. So say today my fever has gone away, tomorrow your symptoms will go away. So it would be really good if you could like keep your child at home or keep yourself at home so that way um, it will help you prevent in spreading the germs and bacteria from the flu so remember 24 hours after your fever goes away you still have the flu so stay at home get plenty of rest a lot of people don't do this. Your body needs time to recuperate and flush all those toxins out of your body. So make sure you get plenty of sleep, plenty of rest. Um, you can just grab a blanket, um, sit in your favorite chair or lay on, your, on the couch and just rest. Your body needs lots of rest when you have the flu so that way it can prep itself to get rid of the flu. And don't forget to hydrate. A lot of people, when they get the flu, they don't want to eat or drink anything. And it is very, very important for you to hydrate. Drink plenty of water. You can do um, bone broths or any kind of broth in general. You can put a little bit of pink salt in there so you can get your minerals back up in your body. So don't forget to hydrate. Um, I would preferably, I mean, you can drink a Sprite or um, a 7-Up if you want. That's completely up to you. But it is better if you get back the minerals and everything back into your body. So drink plenty of water, plenty of broth, 
bone broths, soups. You can do a lot of soups like tomato soup or um, any kind of broth soups like chicken noodle soup or stuff like that. So make sure to hydrate and don't forget to put pink salt into your liquid so that way your body can stock up on those minerals. And the last thing I'm going to talk about is hand sanitizer. I have hand sanitizer with me all of the time. Um, especially um, in my purse. I keep a little bottle of hand sanitizer in my purse. I keep it in my car. I always have some near me. So that way if anybody is sick, they can just pop this out and rub it on their hands. Um... This is just a hand sanitizer that you can get from Bath and Body Works. This is the Mary Berry Antibacterial Hand Gel. So what you're going to do is just put a little bit into your hands. And then you're just going to rub this together. Make sure you get into all of your um, lines and everything into your hands. Get it up underneath your nails, in between your fingers, and pretty much all over your hands. And it's going to take 15 to 20 seconds for the um, alcohol in the hand sanitizer to evaporate. So make sure you do that for 15 to 20 seconds to kill all of that bacteria. So with that being said, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helps you during your flu season. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.